Hello, everybody. I'm Susan Kim. And I'm Vince Vetrano. We have new information on the Sheboygan alderman charged with sexually assaulting a child. Kevin Manichek is accused of having sex with a 15-year-old boy at least six times. Sheboygan County DA says Manichek admitted that he and the boy were, quote, dating. Police believe Manichek also had sex with a 17-year-old boy. Investigators say there could be more victims. An heroic act could land a man in jail in La Crosse. Police report an armed woman robbed a bar yesterday. According to authorities, Jeff Steele stepped in and pointed his taser at her. Well, Steele does not have a concealed carry permit, so he could be charged with a felony. Police arrested the suspect minutes after that robbery. Wisconsin Senator Ron Johnson wants to answer your questions today. He's holding a Q&A session on Facebook. It begins at 2 o'clock this afternoon, and people can like the senator's page and then post questions. He will answer as many as he can during the one-hour event. Governor Walker is in London this week promoting trade and tourism. He tweeted these photos from his trip. The governor visited Margaret Thatcher's burial site, a cemetery where World War II soldiers are buried, and a Harley Davidson dealership. Political observers say the governor is likely trying to broaden his exposure as he considers a run for president. The lineup continues to grow for this year's Summerfest. Organizers announced another big headliner. Hot off the performance at the Grammys, this big announcement, Ed Sheeran will headline the Marcus Amphitheater Friday, July 3rd. Tickets go on sale next Friday. Lincoln Park, Florida Georgia Line, and Keith Urban, some of the other headliners already announced. The Wisconsin Humane Society is offering a special Valentine's Day gift. For a $500 donation, you can send someone a puppy gram this Friday. It includes a visit from a dog, a rose, a caramel apple, and unlimited puppy kisses. There's also a kitten gram option. Anyone who wants to adopt their special visitor, though, must still go through the regular adoption process. After some sunshine Monday afternoon, some clouds rolled in, especially near the lakefront overnight. You can see that band that has moved in, and then we had clearing inland, which created some colder temperatures. But now the clouds are filtering in across southeastern Wisconsin as this next storm system off to the west is getting closer to us. A wintry mix of light snow, some sleet, even some freezing drizzle working its way toward the Twin Cities and western Wisconsin. We'll watch the tail end of this uh, as it moves into southern Wisconsin late this afternoon, sometime after 3 or 4 o'clock. Most of this misses us uh, to the north and northwest. They have winter weather advice advisories there until midnight tonight, not for mainly about the amount of snow, but for the potential uh, for some icy and slippery roads out there. No advisories here yet. We'll keep you advised if that changes throughout the day. Uh, by 10 o'clock this evening, a dusting of snow or less from Milwaukee southward, about a quarter of an inch or a little bit more than that uh, between Port Washington and Fond du Lac, maybe an inch up towards Green Lake. We'll have that little wintry mix throughout the overnight hours. Could see up to an inch of snow near West Bend, Sheboygan and Fond du Lac, a half inch or less across the rest of southeastern Wisconsin. Speaking of snow, how about Boston? Boston. They have had enough. The past two days, 23 inches of snow on top of what they already had had in the last couple of weeks. So this winter already 77.3 inches of snow. At this point, every winter, they should have about 27 inches of snow. And they thought they were in getting buried last winter when they had 46.1 at this point. They're already 30 inches above that and still a long ways to go. Milwaukee, on the other hand, 31 inches of snow. And that's right where we should be for this time of the year. Temperatures in the 20s along the lakefront with the clouds. We had teens and single digits inland because of the clear sky, but temperatures now beginning to warm up that the sun has come up. Uh, the wind chills, however, are in the single digits and the teens across the area. Mostly cloudy around Milwaukee, a little bit of sunshine trying to peek on through. 24 degrees, that northeast wind at 10, dropping those wind chills to around 14 in Milwaukee, 9 in Kenosha, and 8 in Fond du Lac. So for the rest of today, we'll see a temperature of around 30 degrees, a little a little bit of light snow or sleet developing after four o'clock, just a dusting of accumulation at best. So here's the forecast. The bulk of this precipitation stays to the north of us today. We will see a little bit of that wintry mix this evening and overnight tonight. Less than a half inch of accumulation expected. And then tomorrow the winds really crank up behind that cold front. And then here comes the cold for the rest of the week. So for today, We'll see those flurries and light snow showers and even a little bit of sleep move in late this afternoon. 30 degrees for your high temperatures. Southeast winds at 10 to 15. We'll continue with that light wintry mix overnight tonight. Some fog developing and a low of 23. And then tomorrow it'll start off warm. We'll get up to around 32 degrees before noon and then the cold front pushes through. Gusts of wind over 30 miles per hour. Temperatures dropping 11 degrees on Thursday with wind chills below zero. Light snow on Friday and look at the weekend. Below zero Sunday morning. Wind chills well below zero all weekend long.